65 elders, indigenous leaders and youth shuffled their way through a line into the Vatican museums. They saw the masterpieces of Italian art, but also cultural belongings from their homelands. I saw artifacts that belong with our people, moccasins and jewelry. Some delegates finished the tour feeling uneasy. Something that I saw that sort of disturbed me was the sacred ceremonial pipe, the smoking pipe. That one there, I've been told by some elders that it's not for show. Norman Yakeula, a residential school survivor, is also concerned about how these important items ended up within the Vatican museums. They stole our souls, so we know that they steal. The Vatican says most of the artifacts are gifts given to the Pope. I think that really needs to be questioned. But this art history expert says there's evidence. Missionaries seized items for the Vatican's collection. So that's definitely stolen stolen regalia and cultural belongings. During the tour, delegates saw a kayak from a new a pair of moccasins from British Columbia, and a baby belt from the Yukon. So I was really quite disappointed. That the president of the Métis National Council says she would like to see these items returned, but the Vatican is keeping its full catalog secret. One of the, the directors of the museum who was there kept talking about how they are the custodians of these items, that they don't belong to them, but they are the custodians of these items. And I, I just kept thinking to myself, well, why can't we be the custodians of our own items? With Indigenous communities still in the dark about the true extent of what the Roman Catholic Church possesses, delegates plan to continue pressing for the release of these precious cultural belongings long held behind the Vatican's walls. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Rome.